Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Now, the number one question that I get anytime I do a colorful eye look is how does it stay so vibrant and how do I get that pigment payoff? So today I thought I'll show you everything that I do with my eye makeup before those pictures go up on Instagram so you can do them too. Let's call this side the good side and this side the bad side so we can compare the two. Tip number one always use a base or a primer i like to use a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than my skin tone that way it cancels out the darkness around my eyes and the eyeshadows that you use over this appear more vibrant Tip number two, when you layer eyeshadows, start with the darkest shade and then go down to the lighter shades. I'm going to be using the brand new Morphe 25L palette and in honor of Pride Month, I'll be creating a rainbow eye. Let's start on the bad side, which means we will break the rules. We will start with the lightest shade. I'm taking Pride and this is going to be my transition shade with a blending brush. I'm going to blend this out right about the crease. As we don't have a base on this side, I'm just having to put more effort. I'm adding more color, so I'll keep adding more color till I'm happy with the intensity. Next, I'm going to use a deeper shade right below the shade. I'm going to be using Life and I'm going to blend it out right above the crease. Although life is such a vibrant red because it's mixing with the orange now, it's kind of looking a little bit dull. Next, I'm going to take the deepest shade. In this case, I'm going to be taking Truth and I'm going to be using this at the crease to deepen it using a flat fluffy brush. Although it's a deep blue shade in the palette, it looks purple on my eyes because it's mixing with the red. Now let's move on to the good side and as per tip number one, let's start with the deepest shade first. I'm going to take Truth with a flat fluffy brush and I'm going to use this at the crease. And as you can see, it looks so much more vibrant than the other eye because it's not mixing with any other color. As I'm applying this, I'm also going to diffuse out the edges to make the blending easier with the other shadows. The next shadow that we used was Life, the vibrant red color. So I'm going to use it right on top of this using a small fluffy brush. And as you can see, the red on this side is looking so much more pigmented because it's not mixing with the orange. And right on top of this, I'm going to be using Pride, which is the lightest shadow among the three shadows that we used. Now to tip number three. If you're going to do a cut crease, first clean the lids before you cut the crease. I'm starting with the bad side and of course I'm going to apply the concealer without cleaning my lid. So if there was any residue or eyeshadow fallouts on my lid, it's going to mix with the concealer, which means we're not starting with a clean base. Now for the good side, I'm going to clean up the lid first with a cleanser. I'm going to be using the Micellar Cleansing Water, just dipping a Q-tip and cleaning it up before I use the concealer. Thank you. 
Tip number four, don't set this concealer with a loose powder. Instead, use the eyeshadows directly. Let's start with the bad side and of course again we're going to break the rule and we'll set it with some loose powder. Let's start with the inner corner. First I'm applying Pride. Now because powders are very slippery, anything you apply over it will move. So the eyeshadows will have nothing to stick onto. They will move and fall off as well and whatever is left on your lids will appear lighter. Next I'm applying my favorite color in the palette, Sunlight. And as you can see, it looks a little chalky because some of the eyeshadow is falling off. Next, I'm going to apply Nature. The same thing with the shadow. It's such a vibrant color, but it's looking pretty dull on my lid. Next, I'm going to be using a beautiful blue shimmer shadow called Peace. This is almost like a foiled eyeshadow and as you can see, it's not even showing on my lid. It's best to use my finger just to get some pigment payoff and then I'll keep layering the color over this till I'm happy with the outcome, which actually I'm not. But this is the max I can do on this side. And in the very outer corner, I'm going to use another shimmer shadow called Harmony. And as you can see, it's not sticking onto my lid, so I'll have to use my finger again and keep adding more color. I've added so much shadow on this side just to be fair so there's a lot of fallout which I'm going to dust off before I go to the good side. I've not set this side with powder so there is creasing so I'm just going to take my brush and clean it up a bit. I'm going to take pride and use it in the very inner corner. All I have to do is dab it and it instantly sticks onto the concealer. And as you can see, there's barely any fallout. Before applying the eyeshadows, make sure your concealer is almost dry, just a tad tacky, otherwise blending becomes a nightmare. Next, I'm going to be using sunlight and you can clearly see a difference between the two sides. I don't even have to say anything. You can see it for yourself. And then I'm using Nature, again, so vibrant. And remember the two shimmer shadows that I used on the other side that never really stuck onto my lid and then I had to use my finger. First, I'm using Peace and look at the pigment payoff. And then in the very outer corner, I'm going to use Harmony again without much effort. Such a beautiful color. And now with a small fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out these colors just at that line where the two colors join. And here's how the two lids look so far. Tip number five, use setting sprays before you dip that brush into shimmer shadows. I'm going to be using 1978 in the inner third of my lower lash line. Setting sprays melt the shimmer shadows and make them stick onto your skin so they appear more pigmented. I'm going to be using Peace in the middle again, spraying my brush with a setting spray before I dip into the shadow. And I'm going to be using Harmony in the outer third. To add more drama to this look, I decided to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cobalt in my waterline and I'm going to be setting it with Make Magic. I'm going to finish up the bad side by not using the setting spray off camera and I'm also going to apply mascara on both sides. And here it is you guys, all the tips and tricks on how you can make your eyeshadows pop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you want more videos like these. For your convenience, I'm listing all the products that I used in the description box below. I'm also listing my social media accounts. So if you try any of these tricks, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. Bye.